Since it's Halloween season and Jaws is one of my favorite movies, I thought I would reread re the Jaws log. Um, I'm doing as much reading as I can these days. And uh, this is the expanded edition of the Jaws log, which I read many years ago. And uh, I've already started reading it. It's, it's, uh, it's really good. I'm sure there'll be a lot of things that I remember about it. And I'm sure many things were covered in extra features on the Jaws releases. But um, but uh, I'm looking forward to reading this, and it's a good month to read it. So let me know in the comments if you're a fan of Jaws or if you've read the Jaws log. As the weather starts to get cooler and we move into the holiday season, um, I start to watch a lot more Star Trek it seems like this happens every year and I'm watching Star Trek, the original series. Um, and I also recently decided just to watch the new films again, which I've seen many, already many times I went to see them in the theater. And so I was watching Star Trek, uh, the, the reboot, the JJ Abrams reboot, as well as Star Trek into darkness. And it's really funny because when I put on these movies, I think I'm only going to watch for a little bit. And then all of a sudden an hour has gone by and I realize how much I really enjoy, um, um, enjoy these. I think Chris Pine does a great job as Captain Kirk and Zachary Kinto does a great job as Spock. And I mean, all the cast members do really well. Um, and so, uh, and I'm even thinking about watching this other, uh, documentary that I have about Spock, uh, which I've seen already too, which is For the Love of Spock. Highly recommend this. This is the Adam Nimoy uh, film, and it's a great little documentary about Leonard Nimoy, one of my favorite characters, of course, in Star Trek, and lots of extra features on here too. So um, thinking about maybe watching this along with my Star Trek watch this year. So um, uh, just, I don't know, something that I tend to do around this time of year. And uh, find it really interesting. I think because many of the Star Trek movies, I believe, are released either in the summer or around the holidays. And so maybe I'm just used to seeing those uh, around that time. It's cold today, but we decided to make pizza again. This is becoming a very common meal for us to have. Um, it's really good, really simple. We get some uh, pitas from the store and cut up some meatballs with pepperoni cheese, regular pizza sauce from Wegmans, one of our favorite meals. Look at the shadow behind that haunted house. This is one of the favorite things we got. Did we get this from Target? Yeah. Oh, look at that puzzle. It's really coming along. Yeah. You're doing a great job. You have a lot more patience for puzzles than I do. Oh, thanks. I have to say. Look at that. I love how detailed this is though, you know? Yeah. Well, this is my second time doing this puzzle, so it's a little bit Oh, I bit thought easier. you did this one already. Yeah, that's what I mean, I said my second time. Oh. <laughs> so it's easier. It's easier to do it? Oh yeah, because I, I guess know, I, 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 guess I thought, go. I guess what I meant to say is I thought this was the first time you're doing this one. No, this is the second time. I did this Here's one- Here's the puzzle separating area. A few months ago. This is all sky over here. Sky and castle. Sky and some bats. Yeah. Wow, what a great job. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's, look at the detail in that. But it's tricky, I can't do the puzzle at night. It gets too dark in here. We can't do a real-time puzzle, that's how slow. That, that would be a very long vlog if we did a real-time puzzle. Yeah, I'm not a speed puzzle. <laughs> not a speed puzzle. We don't have, to, we don't have timers to you know, do the puzzle. No. I'll be including this in the next haul video, but this just arrived today. Um, 
uh, we participated in the Amazon uh, Prime Day deals. And um, this is one that I did not have. It's really technically, I think, Hitchcock's only uh, comedy. And I'm so happy this is released from Warner Archive or Warner Classics. And um, it's got quite a few extra features on it too. Uh, featurette, Mr. Hitchcock Meets the Smiths, some classic cartoons, um, lots of extras on this one. And I was waiting for the price to come down a little bit on these, which you can find on Amazon for a pretty cheap price. But um, I usually just have them on a list and then occasionally look through my list and add them to an order. And um, Jesse picked up some books and this arrived today. So again, if you if you watch the haul videos, they'll be in the haul videos. But if you're watching the vlogs, you'll get a little preview as to what I'm uh, picking up as it arrives. We're just looking at AMC Plus to see some uh, maybe Halloween type things to watch. And we found this um, Stephen King documentary, which I think we had seen a trailer for this before. It's called King on Screen. It's on AMC Plus. And so I think we're going to watch this tonight. Um, what do you think? Yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah. Um, I just remember, uh, I guess just there's some other things down here too. I, we were talking about Horror's Greatest, which was good. Yeah. And uh, I'm so happy we have AMC Plus and Shutter and some things, especially around this time. Um, oh, I, I was, I think, maybe interested in this too. The 100 Scariest Moments of All Time, Movie Moments from All Time. Mm. So lots of interesting things over here. It's, it looks like a Living Dead special, Birth of the Living Dead, um, Cursed Films. We've talked about Cursed Films on the channel before. Uh, which is really good. We've seen season one, I think, and then we've got season two that we'll, that we'll probably watch. So anyway, I think that's what we're going to watch tonight is uh, King on Screen. Well, today's the day. Mark the day because today is October the 9th and it's the first day that we had to put on our winter jackets. Oh no. We always track when we have to put the heat on and when we have to put on our winter jackets. And it was, I think, we took a walk today. We want to still do a lot of walking this month, but it felt like 46 out, right? Yeah. It felt like 46 out. This is good content for the vlog. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, it is autumnal, as we said, right? Very autumnal. So we're always go for about a mile walk and then we have some Gatorade and yep. open the window for a little while longer. But I think this week is going to be... This week, I think we're going to have one more like day in the 70s and then next week is like maybe going to be in the 60s maybe yep. and then we walked by somebody today who said they look like snow out there i know i was surprised i was kind of that. surprised that he said that right yeah i didn't think it was gonna <laughs> snow i mean rain yeah but yeah, yeah rain but and we luckily we got in before the rain i said i mentioned i mentioned too that that um while you were in another room today all of a sudden it was a big rainstorm i didn't even i think i caught a little bit of it in, in my in my stories in my instagram stories but there was a big rainstorm and i was really surprised by it and then you came out and it was all sunny. Yeah, I, like it didn't look like it rained at all. So today is the day. Now we now we just have to see when is it going to be that we're going to that we're going to uh, turn the heat on, right? Yeah. We tried King on screen, but uh, we had some issues with it. It seemed like the uh, the music was really loud in the background. It seemed to move really fast. I mean, what did you think of it? It was a little bit too. It was kind all of, over the place for me. Yeah, it was kind of like distracting. Like the background music was too loud for me and it was hard to pay attention to what everybody was saying. And then it was like, it was interesting because it was a lot of directors that had directed Stephen King adaptations, but they weren't really sharing anything that I feel like I didn't already know. And it did kind of jump all over the place. Yeah, the beginning was also really confusing because they have some actors I, that were in a lot of the movies and they try to like connect all the movies in a way in the opening credits but i found it was really long and confusing so um i think what i would recommend even though you know you may if you you know seen the movie let us know what you think of it but uh i would more recommend this episode of horror's greatest on stephen king adaptations 
I think it was really well done and they really start from the beginning. I think that's the other thing with uh, King on screen. They sort of move all over the place with the movies and they seem to start at the beginning, but then it, but then it shifts with all the directors of the different movies and it gets very confusing. But the episode five of Horror's Greatest, I think is much better because it kind of starts from the beginning and uh, they really sort of explain things. It's a little bit slower. Um, don't you think? Yeah, I think horror, this episode of Horror's Greatest is a, a lot more organized, um, but it will spoil some of the endings of the films. So if there's something you want to see, like like it definitely spoiled like The Mist and... Um, what's that other one? Um... I can't remember, but the, the mist the, for sure. Yeah. The mist has a very... yeah. So it just like it shares a lot of like the twists and the endings. So you should just be aware of that. Yeah. So watch Horror's Greatest if you are interested. If you have AMC Plus. If it sounds like we're underwater, someone's taking a shower. I think upstairs. So maybe you can still hear it. Yeah, maybe. I could still hear it. <laughs> It's Thursday and we're in the office and um, talking about the chili. Oh, so you can hear it. <laughs> um, yesterday was the first day we put on our winter jackets, which we noted in our journals, right? Yeah. And then today was the first day that we had to turn on the heat, It's which is usually earlier. This is a lot earlier than we usually turn on the heat, right? Yeah, this is about two weeks early. Um, but it was, it feels like 39 degrees outside. With the wind. There's like wind. So we had, right? to, have, so so we had to, even though we want to take a walk. It was like but... below 70 in the house and we like to keep it kind of warm in our house. Well, I got up today and it was in the sixties in the house. And so I thought that's probably why we slept so good because it was, you know, it was cold. And we put the winter blankets on <laughs> the bed. Put, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we're getting ready for winter, uh, even though it's not even Halloween yet here. Um, right. and, um, we did a little, um, uh, talk last night about because we were trying to watch that um, documentary King on Screen, which we didn't really like. I, I was really looking forward to that, but we did we really didn't like that. We only watched maybe what ten or maybe ten minutes of it, but yeah. like the introduction seemed really long and and kind of convoluted. They used some actors from some of the movies, uh, you know, Stephen King movies, and they're trying to connect all the Stephen King movies yeah, together. We were, at some point, we were but, like, do we put on the right movie? Yeah, I know. I was like, did we put on the wrong thing? And then, so if you're in, if you're, I know we said this already in the vlog, but if you're, yeah, like I think it's the clip they into just Stephen saw. King, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, so we watched that last night, and then uh, and then we've been really watching a lot of Friends, honestly. We're already on yeah, season we four. A lot of Friends. I wasn't expecting it to go so quickly, but uh, it seems like we're doing like a season a week. Well, it's really easy to watch about an hour a day, which is like three episodes. Yeah, so. Three episodes, yeah. They're very, it's very bingeable for sure. Um, and you're watching Star Trek. And I'm still watching Star Trek. I've been watching the Star Trek movies, the later movies, the J.J. Abrams reboot movies, and then Star Trek, the original series, which is good. Um, and uh, there was something else we were going to talk about today, too, but maybe I'm not remembering what it is. <laughs> There's the water again. We're almost done with Seinfeld. We have, like, two episodes We're almost left. done with Seinfeld, right. We're almost done with Seinfeld. Um... Boy, it is loud upstairs, isn't it? Yeah, today everything seems really quiet, so you can hear like the you neighbors the, talking downstairs yeah. and the water running upstairs. It, yeah, if you you know, it really is amazing if you live in a place where the seasons change. You know, the winter gets very quiet. I I I think you know because at yeah. least in the summer and the spring and usually the fall too. You know, you, if you open the window, you're hearing birds and insects and stuff like that. But in the winter, you it's just pretty quiet. So. Um, I've been getting ready to uh, maybe do a film study, and I'm thinking about doing a film study of Aki Kurosmaki because I've talked about Aki on the channel before, and I was just reading the, you know, anytime I do a film study, I like to go to the British uh, Film Institute website to, to see if they have any articles about it or, uh, uh, you know, where to start. And uh, last year, or I guess earlier this year, I was watching the movie Fallen Leaves, which I really liked from 2023, and so... I noticed there was a BFI article from, from late last year talking about Fallen Leaves and kind of where to start. And I have the Aki Kurismaki set and I have a couple of films from Criterion for, uh, that are Aki Kurismaki. And so I thought I would start a, 
study based on what BFI recommends, and I believe the first film is Drifting Clouds from 1996. So I think I'm going to start with that. And this is probably, if you're if you're familiar with the channel, this is going to be similar to my study of Tarkovsky too. So I'm going to be watching the films, taking some notes, and um, doing some, you know, so a little bit more detailed commentary so that if you're interested in Aki Kurosmaki, you might, um, you know, it might be a place, you know, where you can start. And I'm already a big fan, so um, it'll be interesting to see. I've already seen a number of the films, but I thought if I start in a different place, it might give me a, uh, a new perspective. So that's what I'm planning to do as the weather gets colder. Well, I think it's interesting that um, in the summer, the, the sun comes in the apartment uh, a lot more directly than in the fall. And so in the fall, I feel like we start to transition to like sitting in the living room a bit more. Whereas in the summer, we're a little more like active, like we go outside and we are doing more things. Yeah. And so now we're kind of transitioning into like our couch season. That's true. Um, very true. Because I feel like this is also sort of the time when you when you watched Bergman, you went like from the fall into the winter. And I did go to the to the BFI website also for Bergman and also for Tarkovsky to get some insight into kind of where to start. It's always hard to decide sort of where to start. You know, you could start from the beginning. Yeah. But even in the BFI article, it says you probably don't want to start at the beginning with with yeah. uh, sometimes uh, I think Marking, it's, so. it's fun to sort of at least with books like start in the middle or start with like one of the newer uh releases and then you can kind of get a feel for their uh style yeah and then and then it, sometimes it makes it a little easier to go back and watch like earlier things or read earlier things because then you have a little bit more patience for their you know their learning their their own style sure yeah yeah absolutely um, speaking of reading too, I guess we were talking a little bit about reading earlier. Um, um, I'm, on, I'm reading the Jaws log. Yeah. As you know, because I keep sharing stories while you're reading, yeah. interrupting it while you're reading. Um, it's really good, the Carl Gottlieb uh, book about the making of Jaws, which I probably read when it came out, but I'm rereading it, the new, the new version of it, which I had showed earlier in the vlog. Um, and really enjoying it. I mean, all the all the politics involved in making that movie and the funding and just the the chaos that came with making that movie it's just I, I guess it's really surprising that any movie gets made sometimes with the way it's very chaotically done but certainly in the 70s and the way it was written and the you know just just the politics of of making that film in a small town yeah was you know it's pretty interesting but i was going to mention too that um the book um, Star Trek Memories is coming today. I ordered that book because yeah. we were participating in the Prime, in the Prime Day deals. By the way, Prime Day. I thought Prime Day was just around, like there's one in the summer, but then there's also one in, like closer to the holidays. I didn't think it was every couple yeah, I of think months. I, that's what kind of surprised like me. A but new, I, a new thing. I don't know. I was kind of surprised by that, but. Um, also, I was going to ask too if you're if you if you've made it to this segment in the vlog, uh, let us know if you're interested in more live streams too. Just leave me a comment, you know, leave us a comment below and let us know because maybe as Halloween approaches and as we get into the holidays and things like that, maybe we'll do some more live streams. Uh, and I just wanted to see if anyone was interested in that. I know you and I maybe are interested in that, but yeah. But uh, sorry, I thought I heard the Thursday train. Oh, I think last week we were able to hear the train on the vlog, right? Yeah. Because usually Thursday the train goes by. Today it was just we're underwater. Yeah. With the uh, with the bubbles upstairs. That's right. Anything else for today in the office? I think that's it. Hope everyone is having a great week. Now back to the vlog. This is the vlog. <laughs> How's that? We've been having fun taking pictures of the Northern Lights. Wow. We went outside even to see if there. Maybe anything in the front of the building, but this is really great. Look see, at that. There's the photo. Wow. That's really amazing. Yeah. Looks really good. Yeah, I'll do it this way. So you can see in the camera a little bit. Yeah. But it's the best when you take the photo and then after. And then that's what the photo looks like. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Very cool. Around Halloween, we like to enjoy some of our favorite Halloween episodes of shows that we like. And two of our very favorite shows is um, King of Queens, which I just noticed 
Mill Creek, I saw the news that Mill Creek is going to reissue this new King of Queens Blu-ray set, or the, I guess it's been around for a while. Uh, but I highly recommend it if you like that show. Um, and then we love, everybody loves Raymond, which has, I think, our favorite Halloween episode, one of our favorite Halloween episodes, in which um, Peter Boyle, who plays Frank in the show, dresses up as Frankenstein. And, uh, of course, it's, you know, it's funny to see him as Frankenstein because, of course, he was in Young Frankenstein, too. So these are just a couple of the shows that we like. We like to watch, uh, again, just um, um, autumnal uh, episodes of our favorite TV shows, and these are just a couple of them. Let, let me know in the comments also below if you have a favorite TV show and you like the Halloween episodes. These are just a couple that we like. Yesterday we finished episode, was it three of the Hollywood, the Hollywood, the Hollywood baking, the Halloween, the Halloween baking, baking challenge. Yeah. Was it the Halloween baking championship? Yeah. And it was really long, but we, uh, but they were making these, um, uh, really interesting desserts. I mean, it's a very creative show cakes. Yeah. yeah cakes. Um, and they did these, uh, cakes that were based off of like they would take like a cute animal like a dog or something like that and you had to like uh turn the dog into something that was very that you know that was very scary which was kind of interesting i thought it that was, was an like, interesting job it was like cutie to creepy or something yeah anyway we don't watch a lot of baking shows but we watched that one yesterday and we like that where i think we're one episode behind we're we're one episode behind of the penguin still we haven't watched the penguin this week uh, I'm still watching Star Trek, and I'm almost done with season one of Star Trek, the original series. Uh, I showed on my Instagram that I got a new Star Trek Memories um, book that I'm looking forward to reading, the William Shatner book from years ago. Uh, and, of course, I'm still reading the Jaws log, too. So there's lots to do. It's a little warmer today also, which is a lot of fun. Uh, so we were just out. We went to the store, and the store was, uh, I, don't you think the store was it was pretty crowded today? I don't know. Well, I think because Monday is a holiday. Oh yeah, right. That it may have been, and the weather got warm again. So I think people, well, there were a lot of people out today. I just feel like there's just traffic jams in the store sometimes, and then we, even though we were going kind of slowly, uh, we, there was just a lot of people at the checkout, so it was very busy today. And uh, I think we wanted to get some extra things because it's supposed to be a little colder, a little stormier. But we do have the windows open, even though we had the heat on this week. We had we have the windows open now so this is kind of one of those times a year at least in our area where the temperature goes up and down and uh we just it's kind of like the spring only you know you're going to head into the winter you're, you're heading into the colder seasons right i think in the spring when yeah. this happens in the spring when this happens uh it, you know you're looking forward to summer right but that's true but i do i do like when the weather changes i like yeah i like when the weather changes too i mean i think we're ready for it it's just uh i wasn't prepared to be as cold as I was the last couple of days <laughs> so but it's nice to have a little bit of a rest here too and I think in about a week it's going to be nice so we, we could do a little bit more walking then too so yeah that's our little update uh from sitting here on the couch uh before we have lunch we just noticed on our um, Roku TV that this this crackle service is no longer available and we we're just looking it up because I think Crackle is one of the first streaming services I tried. It was, a, it was a free service that was maybe similar to Pluto TV or Tubi, but we were just looking it up on the internet. This could be wrong, but it looked like maybe their parent company had some issues. And so now that uh, the app is not available, so we'll have to just delete it, which I'm gonna do right now, um, which uh, is kind of strange that I hope this doesn't happen with more of the free uh, streaming services because sometimes they do have good alternatives on there. But uh, I'm just going to remove the app now on the, on the Roku uh, TV. So uh, anyway, let me know if this is your experience. If you have had a, if you have a Roku TV, maybe you have more information than I do. But we just looked it up quickly, uh, and, that's, and that's what it said. So we'll have to maybe just remove that from our other um, TV as well. I've officially started my Aki Kurismaki film study and I'm doing, I'm watching based on the BFI um, recommendations. I'm starting with Drifting Clouds from 1996, which is on the Criterion channel, but it's also part of the Curzon Region B Blu-ray set, which I'll be showing in the, in the, in the video for the uh, film study.
The puzzle's all done. Look at that. Yep. Wow, yeah. so well done. I can see oh, here's the cover. The yeah, cover I can the show top. the cover. Yeah. Really great. This is the Jigsaw Puzzle by Adam Simpson. It's a thousand pieces, which I guess we didn't say before. But wow, you did such a great job with them. I'll just oh, uh, show a little thing here. Look how beautiful it is. Wow. The top is the hardest part. Yeah. Wow. That is impressive. Yeah, then we'll, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll start this one next. The World of Frankenstein. It's the perfect month for that. And then I also have this, like, Four Seasons puzzle. Four Seasons. That That's I haven't not the done same this one, one yet. right? That's no, not the this same. is a different, this is a different brand. Um, Gals, Galson is a popular puzzle oh, yeah. brand. Mm -hmm. um, but this one I haven't done yet, but I like that this is all Four Seasons. In the dog park. I just love the yeah. I just love the details I in think these. Those are really cool. Yeah, they're yeah, they're really good. So, having some heating issues, right? Yeah, our heater broke. Well, the heater broke. The tonight. fan, the fan broke. It's yeah, stuck on. So we had to call maintenance. And have yeah, them come by. we're gonna show them our. We gotta. Yeah, we can show they them. They replaced the, the thermostat. But... They had to replace the thermostat tonight for the for this because we had the heat on or, and we uh, and then we came out and we noticed there was no display on this. Um, let's see if I can show the display here, maybe the, because the, yeah, the lights come on there. Uh, so there's no display at all in this. And so we were like, what's happening, right? And then... And the, well, and the fan hadn't turned, it was like, just like running and running and running. So it turns out the fan is stuck on. The fan was stuck on, yeah. So now we have heat because we have a new display, but we're going to have to listen extra, to this sound all night. Extra, um... Extra, extra ambient noise. Yeah, extra white extra noise, white noise overnight. And then I guess they're going to come by and do that. Hopefully they'll be able to come by tomorrow, but yeah. it might, might be, the vlog might sound like this for a while. So, yeah, this is this is why, too, it's hard to, I was going to make a video tomorrow, too, so I guess yeah. we should, we're going to have to wait, probably. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. That's our update for tonight. That's right. Good night, everybody. We're on Hulu this morning and we're looking for the Huluween hub and it was hard for us to find, but then you look this little this little tiny banner. Yeah. That you could go to to find it. And then here's all the things that are on Hulu if you have Hulu. We love the show Bob's Burgers, and so um, Bob's Burgers has a number of Halloween episodes. Uh, and I guess these are all just selected right these are all the ones right it just says animated horror yeah so it just happens oh. to show all the bob's burgers ones and then you can see the ones we've watched like this one no it says animayhem horror oh sorry <laughs> animayhem horror I've watched, <laughs> oh we've watched these ones oh the the one we like the ones from episode because we have the first three seasons right that we got so yeah but i think this maybe this one i don't know there's one where they go to like a haunted house that one was fun oh and then oh, I they guess go king of the hill ones. and family guy and stuff and yeah. yeah. Okay. But well, we wanted to, t to mention Bob's Burgers because earlier we were talking about uh, sitcoms with Halloween episodes, and Bob and we forgot to talk about Bob's Burgers because it's animated, but they have really great Halloween episodes and yeah. Thanksgiving episodes That's and true. Christmas episodes. So we always watch those, yeah. What's further down there? Is there anything else? Oh, then you can say? pick Very based on like, how scary you want something to be. And then there's family stuff, haunted and paranormal, paranormal. psychological horror and thriller. This oh, they have scary, funny episodes too. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. This is the Castle Rock is like is another like Stephen King adaptation thing. And then I guess they have other like Halloween episodes in more sitcom. Oh, there's like Will and Grace and Cheers, The New Girl. And then just other. Scary. It seems like it gets scarier the further down you get. Yeah. And then some movies. They have a lot of stuff. Yeah, I guess we forget Alien is really a horror movie, even though it's, you know, sci fi. That's the thing where you get into these, like, crossover. Could it be a horror movie or could it be a science fiction movie? True. But I guess sci fi scares is underneath there, so. Yeah. All right, that's on Hulu. We got an update from maintenance, uh, and they came in last night to fix this display, uh, but they can't turn the, the fan off. So we have the fan on now for the rest of the weekend. 
which is which makes it very loud in here. So I'll we'll probably be spending time in the office because uh, this fan is constantly on now. Yeah, right down there. Is the oh yeah, down here slow. too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The intake is the right. The intake slow. is what's important. Right? So they say they don't know how to turn it off just yet. So we have to wait until tomorrow. This until tomorrow afternoon. We'll hear this lovely noise until tomorrow afternoon. 